Let's have a word with Dr. Gary Wood, shall we? Who He's a social uh, psychologist. And uh, Gary, oh, good morning to you. Good morning, and how are you? I am not too bad, thank you very much indeed. Uh, I'm meeting myself coming back again this morning. It's been a very busy one here on BBC WM, and uh, we need you to tell us how we can kind of like get a grip on things and calm down a bit, I think. <laughs> What's happened, essentially, is that all of the things that we take for granted, very simple things like toilet paper, and what, what's the definition of the word essential? What's happened? It's like an information overload. Yeah. And then we've got the, the internet with the conspiracy theories. We're watching the news constantly. And our brains can only process so much. And so we're all kind of feeling a little bit anxious. So I come up with four C's. I'm going to say the C word, but a nice C word, four times that will kind of help people get a grip. Right. Uh, so first of all, challenge. So that's the first C. We're all seeing problems at the moment, and we need to see challenges. Uh, if you think about it, I, I, you've probably watched, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, yeah. and Big Brother, and you've probably saw, I wonder how I'd cope on there. Well, now you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, essentially, we're, we are in a team game reality TV show. This is uncharted territory, and it's a test of character. And we, we've got to rise to the challenges. The next one is control. What can we take control of? And the easiest way, because we don't know what's coming, we don't know what's happening. So every night, sit down and plan the next day. Yeah. So have some goals. Have a news slot. Don't sit in front of the news because it doesn't matter what's going on in the rest of the world. Your job is just to stay indoors and amuse yourself. So if you can plan your day, create a schedule, create hourly slots. That gives you a sense of control because you know what's coming the next day. Yeah. The next one is connection. Think about how you could connect with different people because some people are very isolated. Think about how you could put a smile on other people's face, how you can connect in different imaginative ways. I went and visited my mother on Mother's Day, but I sat in the garden with a flask and shouted to her <laughs> through the patio <laughs> windows and, and more than six feet away. It was much better than a present and much cheaper, but it meant a lot. So it's kind of finding creative ways of doing things, things like WhatsApp and the, you know, the anywhere where you can connect with people is wonderful. Yeah. So, so we've got challenge, we've got control, we've got connection. And the last one is creativity. We're all incredibly creative people. This is a test of character. This is a test of creativity. And if we can do those things, it will take the edge off. I think that a lot of people are seeing the doom and gloom in this. There are positives that can come from it, aren't there as well, Gary? I mean, we're all as a family stuck in there together. Uh, and I think that, you know, you can take time to get to know one another again, do things together again yes. and just rebond, you know, because everybody gets carried away with, you know, phones and technology. You're in the house, but you're not actually talking to one another. Now, if you're looking at a positive way of doing things, you can reconnect with them. You can kind of chat. You can can talk and you can take positives from this as well but everybody's focusing on the negatives it's true and you know all we need to do is nip up into the attic get out the old board games imagine in three weeks time how good we're going to be at cluedo and sabutio again yeah, well, you know what? I've dusted a load of mine off and uh, it, they only usually come out at Christmas and they're met with groans. Of course, I've selected the ones I'm good at. That I'm good at the, <laughs> the ones I'm not so good at can stay in the attic, uh, frankly. Yes, but, of course. <laughs> but it is the stuff that we normally take for granted, uh, we can't, we're not taking for granted anymore. So that can be really inconvenient, but it can be lovely. One of the lovely things is on my Facebook group, I've surrounded myself by arty types, as you probably would imagine, and lefties and, and general <laughs> mischief makers. And some of them have been saying things like, oh, I've just had three months' work, thousands of pounds cancelled. And then the next breath is, right, how can I cheer people up? How can we use WhatsApp to contact people in social isolation? How can we put on a comedy gig uh, with Zoom? Hey, that is so heartwarming, so we are getting to see the worst of humanity with the bog roll stockpiling. Yeah. Uh, past, bog roll and pasta, spaghetti bog roll nays. And we've <laughs> seen that. But we've also seen that people really do step up to the place. So it's back to the reality TV game. Yeah. Which, which kind of person do you want to be? 
Do you want to be the one that everyone hates? Or do you want to be the one that's kind, thinks about the team, shares, and the one that wins the show? Uh, that's your metaphor. Uh, it can be really exciting and it can be fun. And we've got to be a bit silly as well in the nicest possible way, like connecting in creative and fun and silly ways and, and bringing out the best in us as well. It's a great opportunity. I mean, Boris Johnson was talking last night. He said, right, you've all been very messy, so you've all grounded. And of course, you know, it's also an opportunity. We can use it as an opportunity if we want. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll use it as an opportunity for the next time to get you on on a clearer line, Gary, because at the minute you're cutting out, my love. But that is... Uh, oh, Dr. I'm sorry. G- that is all right. That is all right. Next time you're going to have to climb a ladder and hold your aerial up and uh, then we'll be able to hear you nice and clear. But that's Dr. Gary Wood, who's a social psychologist. We'll have him back on again. But actually, yes, remember those four words, challenge, control, uh, connection and creativity. And instead of us looking at this in a doom and gloom type of way, there's a lot to be gloomy about, but we can take the positive. Uh, from it and if there's somebody that's very negative somebody that's very down uh, and you can bring them back up again then take it upon yourself as that task to do that because uh, we can all cheer somebody up and cheer them up with a smile maybe not in person but from across the street or you know what if we're whatsapping them and if we're kind of like going and uh, interlinking uh, like we told each other yesterday uh, with regard the phones and uh, linking up with families and so on and so forth but we'll talk to Dr Gary Wood uh, later on in the week we can get the news and the travel in a bit too hi it's gary wood thanks for checking out my videos and please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons you can find out more in my books my blog or if you're interested in coaching for well-being head over to drgarywood.co.uk to get in touch thanks